Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have a lot of things to talk to you about today. So the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to test this Hourglass Vanish highlighting stick that I got in my Lucky Bag in a color that was way too dark for my pasty pale face. We're going to test this as an eyeshadow and see how it holds up. I thought it would be interesting, so let's jump right in. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this out. So a couple of things, number one, I'm having horrible allergies and my eye is actually watering quite a lot. I just took a Zyrtec and put some allergy drops in. I really hope that helps it, but my filming schedule is so tight. And speaking of, I'm gonna be filming two other videos today, testing two other products. So again, you know, YouTube is my life. It is not my livelihood. And if you get that reference, if you get that song reference, that would be super amazing. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but I'm gonna be going for a walk today, doing my exercise, doing yoga. And I thought, you know, like, let's go ahead and try this out as um, a, an eyeshadow since that's what Lucky Bag told me to do with it. Or Beautylish, not Lucky Bag. Beautylish told me you should use it as an eyeshadow. It makes a gorgeous eyeshadow. And the Hourglass site does also mention it used as an Hourglass on their website, as you can see. So, I don't know. I thought, like, let's try it. That's what they said to do with it. So, let's try it. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, I've got my Lethal Cosmetics Empty Palette here just to have something to look at. I have no foundation on or anything. I just did my skincare um, because I'm going to be testing a foundation today. So I thought, let me go ahead and get this done. I'm going to start by doing some comparison swatches. Byron's going nuts in the background. But here I have the Lethal Cosmetics highlighter that I got recently. So here's the Hourglass. This is by Laritzi. I think it's going to be too gold. I think these two are actually going to be kind of interesting. So this is by Eye Lights in the color St. Bart's. And this is a Eye Dazzle in Leona. So let me swatch these out. Um, I will actually do it in this order so we can see what these look like. Okay, so the very first one is the Hourglass. Um, I went a little bit hard on the swatch because I was unfamiliar with how it come out. And that is the Lethal Cosmetics next to it. Um, I'm trying to make sure you can see. I'm in as bright a light as I can get in. Um, it is very, very, very similar. But the Lethal is just a bit more coppery, but it is very similar. That's the only thing, really. The rest of these are not similar in color at all. It swatched beautifully. I really wish I could have gotten this in a shade I could have used as a highlighter because I think it would have been absolutely just fantastic to play with. Um, but, yep, there you go. There are some swatches to give you an idea, so let's see how she does. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm using um, Urban Decay, uh, the eyeshadow primer potion. I can never remember exactly what it's called. I always want to call it Primer Potion Pot and combine two very famous primers together if you catch my drift. All right, and then I'm going, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do it just on one eye. I have nowhere to go today, so today is a day to test. So let's do this on one eye and see if this helps this last throughout the day as a great eyeshadow. I do think it'd be very pretty, like hanging out by the pool or something like that. So let's test one primer and see how we do. I typically do not set my primers. Um, I moisturize my eyelids because I don't want crepey eyelids. Um, so I moisturize them and they are tend to be oily anyway. Um, so yeah, a primer is kind of a must. So don't be surprised if this eye uh, is not super great. All right, so then we have our hourglass stick. I will do a test, a check-in with you guys later this evening. I'm gonna wear it as long as I would typically wear my makeup. And then we'll test it out. So as of right now, it's 11-12. I'm off today. So again, I have nothing to do but test this out. So I'm going to roll it up. I don't know about how much, but I'm going to start with the, the non-primed eyes while the other one is drying. And we're just going to start laying this down as a one and done shadow. I will say this does make it tricky when you get here on the end. Hmm, I don't want to ruin this, but... Why am I, why am I doing this? Is anybody else do this? Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit up here. Yeah, this is a mess. So this, the application of this is very, very tricky. Let me zoom you in. Look at this. Ugh, it's a mess. So what I'm gonna do is I did bring a Blend Bunny Cosmetics number, what is this number? B, B6, B4. Uh, it's this color gray, if you're familiar with Blend Bunny. But let me just start to blend this out and see how it blends, how it looks. So it, it blends very nice. I mean, it is a highlighter, keep that in mind. So I would imagine that it's going to set down in a second and get less likely to blend, which is why I wanted to do it quickly. So we're looking better, we're looking better. 
Um, it is like, again, because it's a highlighter, it's going to be very, you know, translucent. Because I don't think highlighters are meant to be super opaque necessarily. Okay, the blend is going very, very, very well. I may have brought it up a bit too hot in a crease. But again, the applicator is not, uh, not the easiest to work with. including out here on the edges. So there you go. I mean, that's all blended out. It's very pretty. It's very subtle. I have to say, I expected it to be a lot more being that it's so dark, but it's very subtle. I can already tell though, it's starting to crease a bit. So I think the non-primer side is going to be a disaster, but we'll check it out. We'll wear it. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the other side. It is very subtle, isn't it? Like, I swear, looking at it this way, I feel like maybe I could blend this out as a highlighter. I don't know. Should we try that today? Maybe I will. Just also, you know, we're, we're here. See what happens. I'm Like I said, I'm going to be testing a foundation, but, I mean, why not put a little bit of highlighter on it? I'm going to go back in with this and do a little bit more in the crease. This side is already creased. So, yeah. The non-primer, ooh. I mean, it's not even sticking. Like you can see, it's not even sticking. I'm afraid I might have to take that off and then just put the primer on because there's going to be nothing left. I think we can all agree that you're going to have to use a primer if you do this because look at that. Um, the other side. Hmm. I'm going to darken it up just a bit on the actual lid. I don't know, guys. It wants to let go translucent. I don't know. Like, they say it can be used as an eyeshadow, so I would expect it to be able to. But it does seem to be moving quite a bit, even with some primer. And I do, I do have other primers I could test this with, but I use this one a lot, and I have no problems with it. So... Yeah, I, this is a mess. This is not sticking down here. It's a mess. So I am actually going to take that off and we're going to reprime because there's going to be nothing left to test with. So let me do that real quick. All right. So there we go. I mean, we have the one and done. I'm really tired, by the way. My eye over here is like really just saggy and tired because I got very little sleep last night. So, all right, so there we go. I think I am going to test it uh, as a highlighter as well. All right, so I now have foundation, concealer, and powder on. I don't have anything else on. I don't have any bronzer or blush or anything. So I wanted to test this again as a highlighter now that we know what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to just lay this down. I'm super scared. <laughs> but it, it went pretty translucent on my eyes, like... I mean, it's obviously too dark for me. Is there re really even a reason to test this? It's obviously too dark for me. Put a little bit more of my crease right here because that's starting to fade out a bit. Um, someone in my comments did say to use a sponge and just, like, make it really light. And I could do that. Um, but I, I kind of want to test it. Okay, we're going to test it. But we are going to just dab. Ooh. That looks crazy. I'm using a concealer brush that I use for concealer just to dab this out. Because I want it to be real sheer. Okay, so... I mean, it's definitely too dark for me. It's definitely, definitely too dark. But it's not as scary as I thought it was. And it kind of gives me a chance to, like, test this as a highlighter. Again, I'm going so light-handed. Take it a little bit more aggressive there. But especially without blush on, like, it's not so bad. Because it kind of looks a bit blushy, a bit intentional. It's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm actually going to bring this one on down just a bit more to look a bit more like a blush. You know, for the summer, like I said, like, honestly, I'm not mad at this. Like, 
might be really cute just hanging out by the pool and because I don't really tan, but I do, not on my face especially, but I might get just a tiny bit of sun kissiness. And so like that just might be cute, hanging out by the pool. It's not bad, honestly, that's not bad at all. So yeah, so let's test it out. So it is 7.07 .07 p.m. at night. So I have had this on for 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, about 8 hours. So let me zoom you in and let's take a look at this eyeshadow. Ignore everything else because, again, I'm testing some other products today. But let's look and see how the hourglass did. So we do have some creasing. Um, this side too. This side, yes, we do. Even ooh, my eyebrows are looking cray cray. But yeah, even with primer, it's still creased. It's still there. I still think it's it's not, you know, it's cute. It's like a wash of color. But yeah, long term, it's just, oof, that looks rough. Yeah, it just did not hold up even with the primer. So I don't know. I can test it out with some more primers and things. But overall, as an eyeshadow, oh, I did use it as a highlight. So let's let's see what it looks like there on the cheeks. Um, you can still see a little bit. Yeah, you can see a little bit. Honestly, it did sheer out really nicely. So you can see a little, I don't know, I'll play around with different primers, but as an eyeshadow, uh, long wear, and I had a pretty full day of exercise and doing taxes and all kinds of things. So um, I don't know, like it didn't really stand up to what I, I like it better, honestly, as a highlight, which really surprises me. Summer highlight for sure. Um, but it did sure out enough that I think I might be able to get away with it. So there you go. There's my testing it as an eyeshadow. So let me know in the comments down below if you've done this or what your thoughts are. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.